Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my online class for the Snowfront Stamp Set. And in my online class, I'm going to provide you with nine amazing card ideas. Every card will have written directions as well as a video tutorial showing you how to put the card together. It includes all the measurements um, for all the different pieces that I use, and it's a tremendous bargain at $20 for the online class. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, oh gosh, Barb, I don't have all the pieces of cardstock that you might have in your that you're using in your online class. Well, you know what? You're in luck because I offer a pre-cut cardstock kit to go along with the online class. You can get the class with the pre-cut cardstock kit for $35. But if you would like the class and the cardstock pack for free, you can purchase these products that I have right here for you from me, and I will gift you the class and the cardstock kit. So what you'll get in the bundle that I'm offering is the Snowfront stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. You will get a complete package of 48 sheets of Neutrals Designer Series paper. This is just a sampling to show you what the colors and patterns are, but you will get the full package of 48 sheets. You will get your own container of ice stamp and glitter. Um, just be aware that if you do order this um, stuff from me after January 3rd, 2020, you will be uh, substituted for dazzling diamonds because this product is not carrying over. Then you will also receive the Magnolia Lane ribbon combo pack, which is the uh, crumb cake slash Sahara sand. I feel like it matches both colors and the mossy meadow twine. And if you purchase these four items from me in my special bundle, then I will gift you the class and the cardstock kit because you'll already have all the designer series papers. You'll cut those yourself um, with the guides that I give you, the cutting measurements. And so it's a tremendous deal, nine cards, videos, written instructions, a cardstock kit, all these supplies you see right here for $63. Now, if you're interested in that, shoot me an email, barb at barbstamps.com. I'll send you a PayPal invoice for everything. If you already have some of these supplies and you just simply want the class, go to my blog at barbstamps.com and click on online classes. You can purchase the class from me for 20 bucks. If you want the cardstock kit, no, the cardstock kit is just that. It's cardstock. It's not designer series paper. It's cardstock. It's pieces that if I punched anything out, you'll get that. If I've die cut anything, you'll get that. Um, so it's just cardstock pieces. Um, you can get that from me from the same link, barbstamps.com, online classes, and it's $35. So I hope you guys enjoy the card that I'm going to show you today. Well, before I show you that, here's a card that I made super quick using the supplies in this kit. So I've got the stamped images there. I've got a piece of the designer series paper here. I've got a little bow that I tied with the twine here. And then, of course, I've got the ice glitter in the water. So super simple card. This, again, is another one that is not part of the class. So you're going to get two freebies from me today. You're going to get that one. And then I'm going to show you how to make this card, too, uh, with a uh, stamp set. Uh, greeting and also some of our little snowflake sequins in addition to the ice glitter that I have in there so stay tuned for this card I'm going to get my supplies and we will get started all right here's the supplies for the card I have an eight and a half by five and a half piece of our thick whisper white cardstock that I do like to use for card bases and I'm just going to take my bone folder and give that a nice crisp fold I have a three and a half square piece of Whisper White and a three and a half square piece of a window sheet. And then I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Balmy Blue. And I'm going to take my number seven circle die. This is from the layering circles. And I mark mine from the inside being the smallest one is number one up through eight. And the same thing with the um, scallop. So this is the number eight scallop. So this is going to be, I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine to get a hole in there for my window. And then I'm gonna take this piece of Mossy Meadow, I'm going to, whoops, I'm gonna run a scallop through, and then I'm gonna take the scallop and then I'm gonna place this on to get um, a very thin frame to go around that. So let me take these pieces over to my die cutting machine, I'll be right back. All right, here are those two pieces. So we can go ahead and glue the little frame around the window. I'm just going to bring in my liquid glue here and I'm just going to squirt out just a very thin bead of glue. Okay. And then I'm going to place it over the window because the inside of my frame is the same size as my circle that I cut out of the layer here. 
So we'll just turn that over to get that in place. And we'll just press that down. So that piece is done. Next, I'm going to bring in my three and a half inch square. I've got a scrap piece of paper here that I can do some stamping on. All right, so I'm going to start opening up these inks. So I've got some soft suede, some crumb cake, some mossy meadow, balmy blue, piece of washi tape, and then my night of navy. And so I'm going to start with my cabin. And I also have, whoops, here it is, a little mask. So I stamped a cabin on a piece of copy paper and then I fussy cut it out. So I am going to start by stamping my cabin oh, about right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take my mask and lay it over the top of my cabin. And we're going to bring in some mountains in crumb cake. So we're going to stamp the first one. Out like that and then without re-inking we're going to go ahead and come right here okay and I think we'll go one more time up here at the top so we just have a nice mountain scene that way all right so then I'm going to stamp my the little lake and right up to the edge of the cabin is where I want that there we go and then I have my large pine tree so we are going to stamp some pine trees here. Again, we're using the mask. Stamp a few trees. Stamp that one off once and then we're going to go back here. So that's what we have. So we have our cabin in the woods surrounded by trees. I have my little snowman that I'm going to ink up in Night of Navy. And he's going to hang out just like right here at the edge of the lake. Okay. And so I think that pretty well sums up our scene here. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and extend the lake down a little bit, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. So now I'm going to take uh, my ink and I'm going to close up all of them except my Knight of Navy because that's going to be my sentiment. And we're going to stamp that right here on the front of this layer of balmy blue. So we're going to attach the window sheet. No, what was I doing? Sorry, my phone rang, so I had to answer that. But we're going to add our sentiment down here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to do it in Night of Navy. And I'm just going to get that. There we go. And then I am, is that straight? I don't think that's straight. Oh, it doesn't matter because that was the wrong side. So good, I get a second chance. Yay me. Okay, let's try this again. That looks better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the window sheet. So I'm just going to get some adhesive around. And I like to use snail for this because I find that window sheets stick to snail really well. Um, it's not messy at all. Like sometimes liquid glue, if you um, aren't really um, adept at using it, um, it can make a mess. So I like to use snail. It's just quick, easy, and I find that it does seal really well. Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our adhesive strips and we have these in the catalog. They are two sets of strips to a package and you get 40 total strips. So they're really nice because they just come right off of the sheet. And then I am just going to go right around this circle. I'm leaving it a little bit away from the edge of the, of the hole because I don't want um, it to show from the outside. Okay. And let's see, I think there was a strip up here. We'll just tear that off and we'll continue on our circle here. Okay, there we go. And then one more little snippet we're gonna need. I need some scissors. I think this should be enough. Okay, I do believe that it is. All right, so then what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to add some of our ice stamp and glitter and our little snowflake sequins to this. And what I like to do is just kind of pour it in the center of my stamped image. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the ice glitter in there. Actually, you know what I should do? Bear with me here. I just thought of something else that I might like to do with this. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the water. Because I feel like, you know, when the glitter is sprinkling around, and maybe we can add a little bit up here on the mountains. Since, you know, it's a, it's a mountain scene, it's probably snowing. There we go. So we're going to add some to this. Okay, tap it, tap it, tap it, shake it off. So that way, no matter what this uh, shaker card is doing, we're going to have a little bit of glitter. So then I'm going to come back in. I'm going to add some to the to the middle here. So this is going to be part of my shaker bits. And then the rest of my shaker bits are going to be these fun little snowflake and sequin sprinkles here. There we go. Throw a few of those in there. And then I'm going to move my glitter out of the way and my ink and some of my stamps. Then I'm going to carefully peel off the protective layer around all these strips of adhesive. Okay, and then I'm just going to lay that over my scene. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh, shaker cards are so much fun. All right, so then I'm going to attach this to the front of my card, and I'm going to do this a little um, uh, kind of a different way than you might think. So I'm going to go ahead and first trim this excess off of the edge here so it's not seen. And then what I'm going to do is because I used these for the back side of my window, I'm going to add some of those to the bottom here so that everything is like the same height. So I'm going to add a strip here, a strip here, and then I'm going to add a strip up here at the top also. So that way, my whole card's going to be like the same height. Okay. And these are so easy to make shaker cards, especially when you use these little adhesive strips that we sell because they just take the work out of that part. Okay. So then we're just going to line this up on our card base. There we go. And there we have it, a fun little shaker card. So I hope you guys enjoyed the card. I love making shaker cards and I love this stamp set and I love the ice stamp and glitter. So be sure to check out my online class at barbstamps.com. And remember that if you purchase the stamp set, the paper, the glitter, and the ribbon pack from me, I'm going to gift you with my online class. Now this card is not in my online class. This is a freebie for you all. Um, to learn how to use the stamps and, of course, make a shaker card. So, again, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.